ESPN presents the Chase Preseason NIT. Tonight, a first-round matchup between the defending Ivy League champion Princeton Tigers and the 22nd-ranked Hoosiers of the University of Indiana. And welcome to Bloomington. Dave Barnett along with Larry Conley. Indiana already off and running with a Friday night victory over UConn. Bob Knight, in his 26th year as the head coach here, he had never before started three freshmen in the first game of the season. Larry, by his standards, he was overwhelmingly in praise of those three freshmen. Well, and the praise really should have been directed at one big guy on the inside, and that's Jason Osborne. He is a terrific player on the inside. Jason Collier at seven feet. The heralded and highly recruited big man can get it done on the inside. He is a great force in there, not only offensively, but defensively. He gives Bob Knight something he hasn't had in a long time, and that's a good, strong defensive center. Now, Princeton, after the huge first-round upset over defending champ UCLA, sees the end of the Pete Carrill era tonight. The Bill Carmody era begins, but the byword, as always, remains patience. Well, he was, for 14 years, he was assistant under Pete Carrill, and you know, there's only one change in that Princeton, Princeton coach's seat. More hair. A lot more hair, a lot less cigar smoke, probably about the same number of points. Let's check into the studio with Carl Ravage. Hi, Dave. Thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to our ESPN Basketball Studios. Back, it's the winner of Princeton, Indiana, meets the winner of St. Louis, Arkansas, Little Rock. Triple header here on ESPN. Triple header here Friday. This continues then. Duke and St. Joe's, the winner there, will play the winner of the Valpo Vandy game. 9.30 tonight here on ESPN. It is St. Joe's. At Chase, the right relationship is everything. Good early season crowd on hand at Assembly Hall on the campus of Indiana University in Bloomington, Princeton. And number 22, Indiana, the starting lineup for Bill Carmody in his first game as the head coach of the Tigers. Sidney Johnson, a senior to watch out of Towson, Maryland, the only three-year captain in the history of Tiger basketball. Neil Reed, outstanding shooter, a junior from Metairie, Louisiana. He led the Hoosiers in their Friday night victory over UConn with 20. Andre Patterson going up with Steve Goodrich, and the Tigers control the opening tip with Mitch Henderson going to work. Keep an eye on the offense. You'll see Princeton controlling the basketball, taking care of it. They don't turn it over. Milk the shot clock. Goodrich, a high post center, may give Collier some problems because like most seven-footers, he would prefer to hang around down low in the first turnover by the Tigers. Princeton last year, 22-7. and seven. They won the Ivy with the 12 and 2 mark had to win a playoff over Penn to do so because they had lost the two regular season encounters with Penn. Dave looks like a little bit of a matchup zone right now by Princeton. A 2-3 and they're trying to front inside against a much taller Jason Collier. AJ Guyton, one of the three freshmen who started Friday. Michael Lewis will come off the bench tonight because that man, Charlie Miller has healed a groin injury well enough to get back into the starting lineup, although he's off target with his first attempt of the night. Groin injury kept Miller out of the lineup. In fact, he didn't practice for about three weeks, so he really is not back in playing shape yet. Sidney Johnson with the penetration, and both times now the Tigers have had it. They have thrown it away. That one intended for Gabe Luellis. Bob Knight beginning his 26th season in Bloomington. 32nd year overall as a head coach. And a 1-5 record, Larry, against Princeton. Only 1-1 one one with Indiana, though. Yeah, most I was going to say, that was when he was at Army. Uh, those few years he was up there. When Pete Carrill was at Princeton. Reed into traffic fed Collier, who couldn't get it. And the foul will go against the Hoosiers as Collier tried to follow his own miss. 